गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ चैप्टर वन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन द थर्ड टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट इज द मेमरी टाइप्स मैंशन ऑन पेज नंबर सिक्स कंप्यूटर मेमरी विल डिवाइड इन टू टू पार्ट द फर्स्ट इज प्राइमरी मेमरी एंड सेकेंड इज सेकेंडरी मेमरी देन फर्दर द प्राइमरी मेमरी डिवाइड इन टू टू पार्ट रैम एंड रोम and these are the examples of secondary memory dvd hard disk cd rom pen drive and blu ray disk so this is the chart ki how the memories are divided now this is the first type of memory that is your primary memory a primary memory is the main memory and we also call it as a internal memory of a computer that reside inside the computer there are the two types of primary memory first is ram that is random access memory and second is rom stand for read only memory now the first type is ram ram is called the primary memory or main memory that store the data and instruction temporarily in the computer that means it loses its contents when the power is switched off and we also call it as a volatile memory next is rom rom is the read only memory from which the information can only be read as the name read only suggests the data on rom chips cannot be modified it contain are created at the time of manufacture and cannot be changed ram is called a volatile memory and the rom is called a non volatile memory that means nothing is lost when power is switched off it helps the computer to get started so this is the ram that is a volatile memory and this is the rom that is non volatile memory now the second part of computer memory is secondary memory it is used to store the data and information permanently it is also called external memory for example hard disk cd rom dvd blu ray and pen drive etc now the first secondary storage device is hard disk this is the picture of hard disk storage device now hard disk it is the main permanent storage area of our computer the hard drive resides inside the computer case that means with the help of hard drive we can run the hard disk storage capacity is from 500 gb to 8 db and even more that means hard disk has the storage capacity 500 gb to 8 tb the next is cd rom disk that is compact disk read only memory this is the picture of cd rom it is circular in shape and can store up to 700 mb of data less than hard disk hard disk can store 500 gb to 8 tb but the cd rom can store up to 700 mb of data and the third point is cd rom drive is used to read data from cd rom disk so this is the hard disk permanent storage area and inside inside the computer and the storage capacity from 500 gb to 8 tb more than cd rom cd rom only can store up to 700 mb but the hard disk store up to 500 gb to 8 tb tb stands for terabyte so it has more storage capacity as compared to cd rom now next is dvd disk dvd disk stand for digital video or versatile disk it is also in circular in shape and can store up to 4.7 gb of data and dvd drive is used to read data from dvd disk 
it can store only 4.7 GB of data and the CD can store up to 700 MB of data and the hard disk 500 GB to ATP. That means hard disk has a more storage capacity as compared to CD and as compared to DVD. But DVD has a more storage capacity as compared to CD. Is that clear? Now the next is Blu-ray disc. Blu-ray disc is a new DVD format. It has a large storage capacity and better quality than standard DVD. A Blu-ray disc has storage capacity of 100 GB of data. That means more than DVD and more than CD. And the next is a Blu-ray drive is used to play or run Blu-ray disc. So at the last topic is pen drive. Pen drive is the another form of storage device. It is used to store data and information and also used to transfer data from one computer to another and to any other device. And it is portable data storage device. That means you can easily carry this device from one place to another in your pocket also. This is the picture of pen drive. I think you everybody see this device, pen drive. So at the last we conclude that the hard disk has a more storage capacity as compared to CD-ROM, as compared to DVD and as compared to Blu-ray disk. Now the next is book exercise. So we will discuss the book exercise in my next video. Thank you.